Speak now. It's speak now. July 7th. <gasps> because July 9th. Come take away the pain. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to the Nashville vlog. It is 7.32 and can I say, I am packed. Everything, you don't even wanna know how much stuff is in here. And I am sending off the giveaway winner today. How exciting for whoever is the lucky winner. We made it through security and I'm starving. It is nine, what is it? Nine, nine fifty. It's served until 10, so we can order breakfast still. Yeah, there's a window. We have like an hour and a half until our flight boards. We made it to what? <laughs> we made it to Austin. Y'all, we were on that plane for four hours. The AC broke, and so we sat there for an hour while they fixed it, and we thought we would have to deplane and find a different plane and miss our connecting flight, but they fixed it. We took off an hour late, we got in, and then they didn't have a gate, so we waited another 30 minutes, and we finally got off the plane. We bored in like 15 or 20 minutes, so we have pizza. Woo! It's literally 7. It's 7 p.m. here. We've been up since 6. It is 11.13 and so I'm not quite tired yet but I'm gonna try to read. But yeah, it's been such a long travel day. Lots of issues with the airplanes and like the flights and everything. So happy we finally made it to Nashville. And tomorrow we're gonna have a chill day and so I will take you along with that. And just like the, the whole fun weekend that is to come. I'll see you guys in the morning, bye. Good morning guys, welcome to day two, officially day two. Here's today's fit, got dress, cardigan, white shoes, and the tour bag. Today, our friend Swin is working, and she's a teacher, so she'll be at school all day. And my sister's working from home, technically I'm working from home, but we're gonna walk to a coffee shop, hopefully, if we can figure out how to lock the house. We'll see if she answers us while she's at school. But this is Swin's really cute house. She moved here like, what, two years ago? We came and visited her last year. Look how cute this is. Spare key has been located. We will be getting coffee this morning. Thank God. Every day yet? I I don't know. Oh, here's where the sidewalk takes off. <laughs> Hello guys, I am currently editing. 
a vlog that I'm gonna try to get up today or tomorrow. Tomorrow the Nashville concerts start. I've been trying to look on the ticket resale sites and see if there's any tickets, but they're all over a thousand dollars even for nosebleeds, which is absolutely insane. Chances are, I will not be making it to any of the other shows. I wanted to do this so badly. Which is fine, because tomorrow we are going to do all kinds of Taylor Swift things. In the morning, we are going to the Country Music Hall of Fame to see the Eras exhibit, and they have exclusive merch at the gift shop, which I really hope is still there when we go in the morning. And then we're gonna go find the mural they have on Broadway. They have a, a mural for the Eras tour. It says, In My Nashville Era. I don't know. We're just gonna try to hit all the things. Also, check out if the merch line is even worth waiting in. The funny thing is, it's like, I don't even... What? And we're gonna go find Maddie Heat. <laughs> no! Yes! Keep no. going! Town. I'm gonna find him! If you haven't seen, there's rumors of Maddie Healy of the 1975 dating Taylor Swift, and I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. Apparently, he's in Nashville. I don't believe that either. So incredible. She's so wonderful. Her voice. Rumors are rumors, so cannot take anything too seriously. What I was saying about the merch is that I would buy the blue crew neck if I had the opportunity, but I'm not gonna die if I don't get it. I just want to buy any merch, you know what I mean? And I don't want to wait in a really long line. So if you told me like there's a separate line for people who don't really care about the blue crew neck, I would wait in that line. I will not be waiting hours in line because that would just be a waste of my time. Um, but anyways, yeah. I'm going to be editing. Also, this is a shirt I got on the Taylor Swift website. It's the 1989 one I showed you guys um, the other day. So if you're not going to the tour or you don't want to wait in line, they have merch online um, that you can buy. Okay, we're back. We walked how many, like a mile, mile there and back to Publix, the grocery store, and we got a bunch of snackies, and I got fried chicken. I'm so excited. Here's the haul. Potato chips, Oreo Cakesters, and Capri Suns. All very healthy options. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, and this was so cheap. I was shocked. $6.99 for a full meal. I messed up. I should've got <laughs> that. I got this. Popcorn chicken, mac and cheese, potato wedges, and a roll. Comfort food. I just got Nicola a was sandwich. dumb and got a sandwich. <laughs> Are we ready? Update. I've been editing. We're watching the Ed Sheeran documentary on Disney Plus, which is actually very good. Highly recommend. We are all blanketed up on the couch and we have just poured a glass of rose. Cheers. To Ed. To Ed. We've Let's moved on. <laughs> We've moved on to the folklore long pond sessions. We're gonna music vibe. Love to see it. Yeah. I have had a month to prepare for this. <laughs> it's what I mean. We're you playing mean? Taylor Swift as we walked in. I don't know. I, I it's don't destiny. Sing it, Swin. <laughs> <laughs> I know a song. Don't say that. The Swifties will come after you. <laughs> I you didn't deserve the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't That's deserve them. We got them. Thank you very much. True. We got them though. <laughs> <laughs> morning guys we have swin's car now we just dropped her off at school for the day it actually isn't gonna rain today which is a miracle 
because it's just said rain all weekend, but it is not raining. Right now we're going to the Frothy Monkey, which is our favorite coffee place to go to in Nashville. Before we go to the Country Music Hall of Fame Museum for the Eras exhibit. Oh, we might go to the Bluebird today. Bluebird? Yeah, it opens at 10 a.m. This morning. There's a lot of things on the docket today. We're trying to do all the Taylor Swift stuff. Well, Swin's at school, so she doesn't have to come to all the things that she's already been to. Tomorrow, we have a few more people joining us, and we're gonna go find the Love Story Castle, I think. Go out to Broadway, maybe finesse some resale tickets for the show tomorrow night. But we'll see, that's a big if. And then on Sunday, we have the concert, so that's a little rundown of what's going on this weekend. Taking a bite of the chocolate. There's a filling inside too. Look at that. Everyone's gonna see it. I don't know what the rush is. I have the tickets. I think we broke the record for fastest time traveling through that music. <laughs> that was so stressful for no reason. Guys, it has been such a successful morning. I'm actually surprised at how much stuff we've gotten done. Look at that store. Look at that. We just took pictures at the mural and it went much better than I could have ever hoped. Thank you. <laughs> I try. It's always risky. Oh, my battery's dying. I need to get a new battery. Okay, let's get in the line. And it just keeps going. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been how long? It's been an hour, I think. It's been an hour? I think so. I'm definitely gonna <laughs> nice. suffer. It has been an hour and a half. An hour and a half. We were not expecting this. No. This line of people. We might not even get in, and there's still an hour until it closes. So we'll keep you updated. Say your prayers now. We are so close. We're gonna make Let's it in. Say, we're in the front. I don't want to jinx it. No, we're, we're manifesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Guitar bags. Put your name on it. Be good. Oh my lord, that was a, An, a thing, a process. Yeah, it was a thing. I think it was worth it though. I think it was worth it's it. Fine. I, I got a really cute Polaroid sitting on the Taylor Swift chair. We're here, we needed to just do it. Sure. Cause like when else are we gonna come back here? And... Also, I deserve props. I Why? deserve a little pat on the back. Because we waited two I hours to get it in. out and I didn't complain 
one time, one time. I only complained about the fact that people were taking too long. That was it. Yeah. But we got merch, so a huge merch call, haul, blah, blah, blah. Haul ball. Huge ball, merch ball, ball. haul coming at you later. We were gonna go to Centennial Park, but we heard there's a freaking long line there as well. I don't know. So we're pushing that off. I am overwhelmed. What is going on? So cute. So cute. What the heck? Suspending all of our money. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, God. Hello guys, welcome to the haul. We bought stuff, the Country Music Hall of Fame and the Bluebird Cafe. So now I'm gonna show you what we got. First of all, we both got a midnight shirt that they were selling. I accidentally Nicola got accidentally an got me an XL, so it'll be a dress, but it's fine. Then they had the all too well notebook, so I just bought it because I feel like I just had to. I got the Midnight Piano Vocal Guitar Music book. And then I got a red Nalgene bottle, picks in a sticker. I got a magnet and a sparkly pack. guitar. And at the Bluebird, I got this shirt. And they were giving out, or they, well, they were selling um, friendship bracelets that say Bluebird Cafe. So cute. I got all my friends these uh, Bluebird little keychains. More guitar picks. Show them my stuff. Nicola also got stuff. She got the same shirt as me. Then she got a um, Bluebird Cafe shirt. What else did you get? My patch and my <laughs> shot glass. She got a patch and shot glass with a little pick coming out the side. And then your Polaroid. Oh, and then this. Oh yeah, oh my <laughs> god, how this, could we forget? We went to Stony Clover and everything was a million dollars. So this was the cheapest thing you could probably buy in the store. And it was still $35. <laughs> Matching. Ooh, this limited edition era's little bracelet. Really cute. Oh yeah, the Bluebird um, had a Polaroid you could buy for 89 cents. So they took a picture of me in the Taylor Swift chair. Isn't that so cute? Come look at our haul. <laughs> Time for someone to see the haul. <laughs> What's the damage? Hello guys, it's been a minute. We went to dinner at a Mexican restaurant because it's Cinco de Mayo. Got some margaritas and now I am watching tonight's concert on live. Highly convinced Speak Now is being announced this weekend because of all the purple stuff that's going on. Been checking ticket prices because I might full send tomorrow's concert and get a resale ticket because I was looking today and they went down a lot right before the concert today. So tomorrow we're going to Broadway, which is about a 15, 20 minute walk from the stadium. If I just happen to pick up a ticket, I'm sprinting over there. I'm gonna be there. Anyways, maybe I'll do a live reaction to the surprise song tonight. Very exciting stuff. I'm live reacting. Tonight. <laughs> Um, I've been, I've been, I've been planning something for a while. <gasps> no, 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 no. What? You know how I love to plan things. And then you know how I love to surprise you with the Holy things that are shit. Like, oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. I love language with you, you know? I thought, rather than me, like, speaking about it. What? What's happening? Shut up, shut up, shut up. I can't breathe. I thought I would just show you, so if you would direct your attention to the back big screen we have. Holy shit, it's speak now! It's speak now! Oh my god! I knew it! Holy shit! Speak now, Taylor's version, July 7th, <gasps> because July 9th. What? Those are two different dates. <gasps> wow. What does that mean? Wow. Sparks fly. There's no way. She's playing it. She's doing it right She's now. It. Oh my god.
please it's me. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> because I should have been there. <laughs> I should have been there. <laughs> If they get back to December, I actually am oh, going to, I'm actually going to literally cry. What is it? Oh, it's teardrops on my guitar. Oh. <laughs> you do win! <laughs> oh my god. I made a mistake. <laughs> This is my 13th reason. Hello guys, I'm still unwell, but I'm also trying to buy tickets for tomorrow night. I'm in the Ticketmaster, well, well, where am I? I'm in the Ticketmaster queue, they unlocked a bunch of tickets, and I almost had two tickets for $49, but then they got taken from me. The amount of stress, I swear to God. It says I'm like halfway, th like this whole thing is so stupid. I'm getting literally so triggered. 7077, angel numbers, baby. Angel numbers, 777. Saint Anthony, give me Taylor Swift tickets for tomorrow night. I should have moved faster, I, I should have known better. Okay, I'm getting in. No tickets available. I'm gonna rejoin the queue, I guess. Oh my God, what is my life? Taylor Swift owns me. Guys, I've almost had floor seats in my cart so many times, and I have Otterina on the opposite coast trying to also buy me tickets. I've had tickets in my cart like four times for va face value floor tickets, um, and I just keep refreshing, and like, like every 10 minutes, they're adding new tickets to be bought on Ticketmaster. It's literally midnight in Nashville. Yeah, I'm just praying, just manifesting. Like, why does it take you to the payment page and then it, like, lets you check out with your payment and then it, like, is like, yeah. sorry, you can't get the tickets, actually. Yeah, that's so mean. That's I literally, thought I thought I had the, oh, what the hell? I'm in it, I'm in the, oh my god, what? Please adjust your search, I'm in it. Do it, do it, do it. Everybody's trying to buy this ticket. You didn't get it? I don't know why I even try. What is sleep? I don't need to sleep until I know I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert tomorrow. All right, guys. It is 12.30 and I need to go to sleep. No updates in the last 30 minutes, and so I think it's safe to say that they're done for the night, unfortunately for me. So, we ride at dawn. I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. Welcome. Actually, I don't even, oh shoot. It's actually not the morning anymore. It's actually afternoon. We had a tough morning coming to terms with last night's news, but today we are gonna have a better attitude and persevere try to get tickets for tonight. We are gonna go see if we can find the Love Story castle. So we're gonna eat lunch, do that. Hopefully just go to Broadway and if I get a ticket, I'm gonna just run, run right over there. <laughs> property and it's only open for this Cassie's festival. We're gonna have to pull off somewhere. Oh my oh, lord. Right there. This, this is not the castle I wanted. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people. This guy has a walkie-talkie. They'll tell okay. us. Hold up the thing. <laughs> Do I go over here? Yeah, go park by those cars over there. No, this is No. No, this is it. That's it. Yeah, it's on the other side. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure we made it. By the, the grace of Jesus Christ himself. How do we get up there? Okay, should we just kind of...
Are we ready to go back? <laughs> I was put in charge. I am the captain now. <laughs> We're just the photo crew. We're just here for some more. In a great turn of events, we did not have to pay for the Renaissance we Fair. We didn't have to pay for anything. <laughs> and we got to drive our own car to the castle. <laughs> Candy cap for the win! Woo! I wonder if these were... They just let us come! They just let us go. Hey guys, I'm alone. I ditched everybody at the bar on Broadway and I'm walking across the bridge alone and trying to find a ticket. If I find a ticket that's under $600, I'm going. So, come on this adventure with me. I wanted to do this so badly as a kid. You have no idea, I can't even remember the first time that I thought that I wanted to do this with my life and this is the town and this is the community and this is this, this is the group of people that made this happen for me and so I am honored to stand up here knowing you guys made it with another local Nashville girl. She's incredible. She's so wonderful her voice is incredible. She's a songwriter. Beautiful, and it means so much to me.
around. Like, I loved playing an instrument and singing and having people connect with me back. It, it was, you know, we didn't have that much of a budget. There are so many other albums, and, and I want to kind of over over the course of the weekend, I try to um, to, to reflect a, a lot of the eras in in um, what I play. And so I I, I, I think I saved a really good one for right now. I, don't, I mean, you be the judge based on how um, loud that you scream. But this this one's from 20 minutes. Uh, Taylor comes on in 20 minutes. So the openers have already like kind of gone on already and I'm looking, I'm looking and I'm, my internet sucks. I'm trying to buy a ticket from TickPick. Um, I was trying to get an obstructed seat, you know, for like, I don't know, like $300. I was just trying to get a, any seat. I was on the phone with my friend who's back in California. Shout out to Otterina. Like I would not have made it to this concert if she did not help me 
like god bless her because i found this ticket and i was able to finally get the purchase through i found a floor seat row 12. it was not transferring because my internet was so bad on the bridge because there were so many people so i had her log into my gmail log into my ticket master transfer the tickets and then i finally was able to refresh and have the ticket on my phone i like was having a breakdown on the bridge for real as soon as i get the ticket i hear the show starting so i sprint i run for my goddamn life oh my lord i've never run that fast in my entire life and i'm sprinting and i'm passing people on the bridge and they're like you go girl you're gonna make it okay i'm sprinting i'm sprinting i go to the wrong gate and that, like that had me so worried i bought a fake ticket because it came up as red and then they're like where's your seat i'm like on the floor and they're like oh you have to go to gate six so again i'm sprinting i'm sprinting and during this time taylor is playing the man and she's singing i'm so sick of running as fast as i can and i'm sprinting outside the stadium and i'm like me freaking too so i finally get to the gate i get my floor wristband and i'm sprinting to the floor i reach the floor and i see the vip tent and i'm gonna have to pass it to get to my seat and who do i see in the vip tent but maddie healy of the 1975 that is allegedly dating taylor swift I don't know if I believe it, but I saw him. And my sister is the biggest 1975 fan. So I knew I had to take a video. So I'm taking a video. And I'm like, what do I do to get his attention to look at my video? So I blew him a kiss. I blew him a kiss and waved at him. And his face lit up. I have the best video and it's so clear. I can't believe I got that video. It's wild. And then I ran. I found my seat just as she was doing her um, lover speech. I was like bawling my eyes out, guys. I was like crying that I was there and like it was just wild so I get to my seat and she starts when she came like to the front to sing the archer I was so close and I was literally crying and the people next to me were like a really nice couple so shouts to you you guys were really cool and they were like are you flying solo tonight I'm like yes I bought this ticket like 10 minutes ago and they were like us too like but they paid like three thousand dollars and mine was like 600 so I'd do it again it was absolutely amazing and I was just in shock the whole night and then when she played she played nothing new with Phoebe Bridgers and I didn't think she was gonna do that two nights in a row but maybe she is adding it to the set list when baby is on the tour so maybe we'll get it again tonight she sang out of the woods like literally right in front of me right in front of me it was insane and then she played 15 which if you know me that song is so significant in my life it's like the first song i ever played at the talent show live the first song like i learned on guitar like i was crying and i was just in awe the entire night I've never done something that impulsive in my entire life and I've never gone to a concert alone and I just like, I'm so glad that I did that. It was amazing. Unfortunately, <laughs> when it was just like so terrible, I walked over the bridge and just kept walking and I sat in front of Music City Center in downtown Nashville. There was a lot of people around so it's not like I was like unsafe or anything but I could not get an Uber back here. Like everybody kept canceling my ride. And so unfortunately I have my, had to have my sister come pick me up at 1 a.m. and she was not very happy. But I showed her the video of Maddie Healy and I think that helped a minuscule amount. <laughs> and so now I literally owe everybody everything because Otterina got me the ticket. I would not have been in there. She didn't help me get the ticket and I would not have gotten home without my sister and Swin because they drove her car. <laughs> so that's my story of my crazy night at the Taylor Swift concert on the floor yesterday. I can't, I can't fathom. It was like the best night ever. Tonight, we're going again. And I'm so excited to go back and see like the final night in Nashville. I hope something exciting is planned. Um, we're gonna be up in the Upper Bowl today. So we're gonna get a different view. And I will say, I've been on the Upper Bowl, I've been in the Lower Bowl, and I've been now I've been on the floor. And I can say they all have their different things that are really like, super great. But um, I do like being able to see the graphics on the stage. And so on the floor, obviously you can't see like the actual stage because you're at eye level. Um, but Taylor's obviously like so much closer to you. And like I the stage visuals, and everything is just like really cool from the floor. But then also in your Upper Bowl, seeing the entire stadium is just like so, cool the the wristbands light up and like the best place taylor swift concert is my happy place i'm gonna cry thinking about it <laughs> anyways i gotta get ready for the day and i'll check back in with you guys Woo! <laughs> nick give us a twirl where's your cowboy hat <laughs> 
All right, here we are. Night two. Well, technically night three. Here's the makeup, the look. to hear forever and always tonight because I am fearless Taylor. So mark my words. Oh, but it's okay. Play me. <laughs> but she already played me. Oh, I know. Rip. So hopefully something from Speak Now though. Not ready. <laughs> Why? Because um, it makes me cry every time I listen to it. <laughs> what era are you in right now? Oh, I think I'm in my 1989 era. Okay. Yeah. still, but that does not seem likely. It is 7.50. No openers. Look at the eyeliner though. Just after being drenched in the rain. Um, so we think Taylor will come on at 8.45 if she's coming on. Keep you updated. Well, I'll be damned. We are moving to our seat and this has been one of the most terrible experiences ever but there was no line at the merch so we got, oh. we got some we're making our way up to the upper concourse right now i have no idea when the show's gonna start this is insane hello we're in our seats the show must go on after four hours we reached four, four hours of yes we found the group finally <laughs> we thought we were lost forever <laughs> no idea when the show is going on. It is almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> Perfect. It's going to go down in history as being the most aggressive rain show in a, the history of concerts. We on trauma bonded with Earth. so many people. We got so many bracelets. <laughs>
Nashville. Welcome to the Eras Tour. You know me, so you know that I really enjoy extensively planning things out, right? It's one of my love languages for you. I love to plan things. There is one element in a stadium tour that you absolutely cannot plan on, and that is the weather. So, I want to say, first, first things first, the fact that we had chaotic weather and you decided, all of you, to stay here and count on the fact that we were going to play this show for you no matter what. That means the world to me and everyone on this tour. Thank you. What do you say, Nashville? actually on the, um, the, well, it's on Midnight, so it's one of, um, one of our favorite songs we've done together. We hear you guys request to, hear, uh, to play this one all the time, so we figured we would, we would just wait till there was like, a really special moment to play it, and you guys have earned it. Um, this is a song about, like, just looking back at your life and thinking about stuff you wish you just, like, would have put a song that I shared, which is that 
Speak Now My Version. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Speak Now. Yes. I was inventing scenarios that definitely weren't happening in my life. Like, I wrote the song Speak Now about like, interrupting a wedding of an ex. And like, I was, I, I was 18 when I wrote that, so none of my exes were getting married. I'd never interrupted a wedding. It was just a fantasy, you know? Like, and I think that's one of my favorite things about Speak Now, is that it was so fantasy. It was so fantastical. And, and I think that was the first time that I didn't really start thinking it sort of cinematic. When I wrote it, I was writing about all these like relationship things that hadn't happened to me yet. Like, like there's a drawer um, of my things at your place and things like that. Oh. And like working through fights and not just breaking up. Oh. Oh, sorry, there's a hair in my mouth. There's a brussel. Anyway, so those are things that I was not partaking in at 18 and 19 when I wrote these songs, but they're things that I really, it's been such a privilege and such a, a treat to go back and re-record them, because relating to them now, um, it's, it's really crazy to go back and, and listen to these songs that at the time were fantasy, but now feel really relatable to me. And so this is, um, this is called Mine. <laughs> We should go down the ramp. Oh, we are swimming upstream. Oh boy. Good morning, everybody. It is almost noon. And it has been a slow morning, guys. Obviously, last night did not go to plan. Let's talk about it. I'm having ice cream for breakfast. Lunch. Lunch, breakfast. So, as many of you know, the concert last night was absolutely crazy because there was lightning storms that rolled in at like 5.30. Everyone had to shelter in place in the stadium. So imagine 70,000 people trying to get underneath. I wouldn't even say like a roof because it was more just like the concrete covers of the stadium. There was no covering really besides like the concrete underneath, underneath the, the stands. Me and my sister were in the merch line and our friends were already up in the upper bowl. So they were up there. We were on the first floor in the 100s and so we got pushed into the, like, just the covering right there. And we did not think it was gonna be that long. I thought it was gonna be like an hour, two hours at first, being under the cover, but as soon as it got closer to 6.30 when the openers were going on, I thought that the concert was not going to happen because the rain was not letting up, the lightning was not letting up. You were like shoulder to shoulder with people so close and people pushing to get to the bathroom, pushing to get somewhere else, like. People passing out left and right. People were passing out, having panic attacks, claustrophobic, like it was not great. And like, yeah, they make it all like, oh, rain show, so magical, but it was so miserable for like, five hours my feet hurt my legs hurt we were just standing huddled wet we were drenched from the rain we could not get dry and it was cold and so me and my sister pushed farther into the crowd because of how cold we were we would just wanted to be warm and like around bodies the penguin effect <laughs> my hair was dripping wet at least like we were talking to some people around us that were nice. Yeah. There was a few people we traded bracelets with, so shout out to you, that was really nice. Um, saw two people that have watched my videos, which was funny. I should go show them my bracelets. I wanted to show you the bracelets because these are so cute. So this one says, this love is good. This one's cute. I got Speak Now TV, Speak Now Taylor's version. Cowboy Like Me, Cowboy Like Me. I got cardigan, and then I got this one. This one was so pretty. It has a little disco ball and all the little ones. 
The girl that gave me this came alone and I took a picture of her and then she asked me if I wanted to trade bracelets. This is like one of my favorite ones I've gotten. And then another girl we traded with while we were huddling in place. She had all these little like charm bracelets, if you can see. And this one is apparently represents 1989 because it has like an airplane out of the woods. If she's got a rabbit for Wonderland, she explained this to me. And then there's like a little fox for I know places and a little shopping bag. Just 1989 vibe little charm bracelet. Super cute. Probably like took her a lot of time to make. And the last one is from a subscriber that I met and it says Last Kiss, which is my favorite song ever. And I didn't meet her until after the show. I was trying to meet up with her before the show but obviously things got so crazy so we ended up meeting after the show and so shout out to Olivia thanks for coming to meet me I know it was like so crazy but I'm so glad that we got to meet up it has been so great to meet people that watch my videos at these concerts because it's just like so wild to see people in real life because obviously I'm just talking to a camera all the time so it made it all all worth it for sure but so when we were sheltering in place they had a sign up on the you know TVs and the screens that said like shelter in place lightning is approaching like follow the staff stadium staff or something like that and it just kept repeating like every 10 minutes and was it like two hours in I think at 8 o'clock a different message came on that we were waiting for the storm to pass but Taylor was anticipated to take the stage at a later start time. And then a little bit after that, Taylor posted an Instagram and posted on Twitter like a photo dump of the concerts and was like, I know it's rainy tonight, but I'm ready to go. See you soon. And at this point, I'm thinking there's absolutely no way this show is happening. Like there's so much lightning, it's pouring rain. I just don't see how this show is going to happen. So I just thought like they were just trying to like give people false hope. I don't know. They were like, okay, so when are we gonna rebook our flights for Nashville? We were like thinking logistically how we were gonna make it, if they were gonna reschedule or... I was fully prepared for her to cancel the concert. I was absolutely shocked when it didn't get canceled. When it hit 9 p.m., I was like, there's no way. It's way too late. I don't even, I thought there was a sound ordinance, but apparently not. Because the rule is 30 minutes from the last lightning strike and it has to be eight miles away from the stadium. And so every lightning strike, you had to count back from 30 minutes and it started over every time there was a new lightning strike within eight miles. Then eventually there was another thing that came on that said, cause people were cheering and we were like, why are people cheering? And it was because the production was like doing the lights on the stage and they were like organizing some things. And so I think they tweeted or they put on the screen like production will be like messing with the lights, preparing for tonight's show, stay shelter in place. Okay, well, maybe it is happening. It was around 9.45, maybe 9.30, between 9.30 and 9.45. All of a sudden, got on the screen and said, all clear, the show is going on. That was like one of the most inconvenient things for them to do because then people were mass pandemonium well, trying to get their seats. make your way to your seat. Yeah, they said, seat. make your way to your seat. And so, With oh no my God. no time, no like, It'll be they should minutes. have they should have told us like how much time we had to get to our seats because we were getting pushed and people were yelling and screaming just like literally chaos. Finally, we got out and we went straight up to our seats and the show started at 10 p.m. It it was a shock. She played the whole thing until literally probably I think it was like 1:20 or 1:30 a.m. is when the show finished. During the rain stopped for a little bit when the concert began. It was like kind of sprinkling and here and there not as heavy as it was and then when um, <laughs> the red era happened, it started to absolutely downpour so hard, drenched, soaking wet. She brought out Phoebe Bridgers to sing Nothing New, which was great because we didn't get to see Phoebe Bridgers open for the show. Our surprise songs were Would've, Could've, Should've with Aaron Dessiner and mine from Speak Now. And so I feel like we earned that with our blood, sweat, and tears um, waiting in the rain for four hours. She owed us that. That was amazing to see live. Very, very happy about it. She sang Midnight Rain in the Midnight Rain and it was magical. And then we had a cold and wet walk back to the car. Overall, I'm really glad she ended up performing because even though I've seen the show before, I know a ton of people like this would be their only chance to see her. So I'm glad that it worked out for them 
and glad that she like stuck it out and performed in rain for three and a half hours and literally like the early hours of the morning. Um, any last thoughts? I'm the shirt that says I survived night three. Yeah, like I said, people are like romanticizing this show so much on TikTok, being like, oh, how magical this show is gonna go down in history. Da, 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 da. No, we fought for this. Like, we were in the trenches. People passing out left and right, like emotional and physical distress for four, five hours. And even during the concert, I'm not the kind of person that sits during a concert, but I had to sit down for a little bit because my feet hurt so bad from standing and I was getting blisters and I was soaking wet. But you know what? It, the morale was pretty high because of like, you know, she finally came on. Everybody was just like so happy that the show went on. My first rain show and I can't say that I would want that to happen again. <laughs> but definitely one to remember, a whole experience, a story we'll be telling forever. Glad to be a part of history here, even if it's not the most of pleasant of experiences. <laughs> but yeah, that's the recap. <laughs>